It's five o'clock. We know and it's going to be a little bit delayed, yeah. so we are going to get started. Call the meeting to order. We'll open for public comment. I don't see any. Okay. And now we're going to look over the minutes from April 25th, 2023. Any questions, comments, concerns? Or can I get a motion? I move that we accept the minutes. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstain? All right. Uh, now. Go ahead. Okay. We'll move to report from the library director. I just have a couple of additions. Um, Myra has resigned. She had another opportunity to come up with her school to be a teacher at her um, preschool. So Ooh. she just hit Myra. Was she a page? She's a page. Okay. Yeah. She was a page. Mm -hmm. For yeah, a so, long time. Wow. Yes, for a long time. Yeah, she was about 20 years old or 19. Oh. No. <laughs> no. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know how old she is, but she has children who are probably in middle school. High school, yeah. 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 Well, good yeah. for her. Um, so we are, we have posted, so in a um, constant contact. Uh, she was also. So yes, oh she gosh. was. Yep. She will be missed. Um, and then just something for my meeting, I'm on the Library Development and Legislation Committee for WLA, and um, this question has come up in other library systems, and it was funny because I just had a patron ask me about it today about auto renewing of materials, mm. where once it got to the, so so it's not recommended in the state uh, by this committee uh, because of it artificially inflates the statistics, and it, it may impact county funding and our cross county funding, um, and there are already when budget time comes up, enough questions about those county payments. Um, that the, this committee does not recommend that we that any library system do auto renewals of materials. So um, last time it came up was about three years ago. And oh, so the yeah. committee will put something out to the directors of the library systems in the state, just like, here's the reasoning why. So, but it was just interesting that I had a patron ask me about it this morning. Really? So, so I just thought I would mention it to you guys Just curious, also. was it a patron with children or was it a, an adult patron, no kids? Um, adult patron who snowbirds in Florida. And he's like, well, I must be thinking of Florida that does oh, that then, okay. so. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I have a question. Sure. Yeah. Um, notice that the, um, uh, we had a prairie burn finally. Yes. Uh, when was the last one, like a decade ago? About five or six years ago. Yeah, and, and uh, who, do you know who burnt, who burned it the last time? Who did the The prairie? previous time, uh, not this one, but the previous one was Fox Valley Tech Fire okay. uh, School. Um, and before I had you ask the Ripponary Fire District to do, do the burn before? Yes, Chief and Saul was not interested in burning himself. No. Okay, all right, but mm -hmm. but they did it this time. Ripponary yep. Fire District burned it this time. Yes. And they didn't burn the building down it like that, right? No, it, <laughs> went, it was very fast. It only took about an hour. We didn't have the air conditioning on yet, so there was no smoke in the building, so it all, okay. all went There's really pictures well. on Facebook if you want yeah. to see it. Okay, I'll have to look. All right, um, um, just out of curiosity, is saying the prairie going to be reused for the, um, we do the outside, if we fundraise for that, get money for that, is that going to be incorporated into the outside design? No, it's partially, it's like now because of the neglect and the lack of burning, there are so many invasives in. And I know a couple of years ago, I think it was after COVID, let me get, like maybe that COVID summer, we had Lisa Rees who had helped with the planting of the prairie originally mm -hmm. before I came here. Um, she said that some of those roots are now probably five to six feet deep, mm -hmm. and so you either need to dig them out or you need to use a lot of chemicals to kill them. Okay. So, and with it being on Silver Creek? Yeah. Gonna yeah. Okay. yeah. Unfortunately. Okay. Yeah. Because it hadn't been maintained with the burning for so long, it's been taken over by a lot of invasives. Okay. I, I just want that. Yeah, so we're, that yeah question. Yep. Good people question. People have a question, and mm -hmm. there's a few people that listen to this, and I just wanted to bring that out that. Yeah, we're going to probably redo it, but it still needs to be burned down. Burned down. Burned in the meantime, burned off, so that we can yeah, kind of right. keep it under control. Yep, and we do have a volunteer group of college students who are scheduled to come next week, Tuesday, weather permitting, um, to do some cleanup and uh, the rest of it now. Okay. So, so that it looks in better shape for the summer. Mm -hmm. Great. Yep. Excellent. Okay. All right, okay. I've got so many questions. Anything else? Okay. On that report, oh, from one, one more. Uh, the old computers. That uh, what are you doing with them? Um, we will try to recycle them. I know Ben saw that there's an event someplace in Green Lake coming up soon. You yeah. can bring them over. We have a recycler that comes with that technology at the school yeah. district. Yes. Okay. Nice. 
they you know, shred the hard drives. No. Um, uh, we smash them anyway before, if that's okay with you, and then yeah. we, we give them and they shred them. So. How, how okay. many do you have, by the way? Um, we got rid of all the public ones, the internet, the internet station. So one, two, three, probably about four or five. They're like so. not worth reusing. No, I think okay. here They're the new ones are here. Yeah, oh. the, the new new ones. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the new ones. Yes. New newer. <laughs> newer. Yes, newer ones. A couple years old, the newer ones. Yes. Um, they're not quite as old as the ones we had. You know, for the for our public uh, catalog stations, they're only running the catalog, and they're not running internet browsers, yeah. so they really don't need to have a lot of capability. Right. So, so yeah. the ones they're sending to us are, or they're old ones, but they're still but they're newer, still newer than our newer, internet than our, than our catalog public. stations. Right. Yes. So mm -hmm. we're getting rid of the ones that we have because yep. they're really old. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and these and these were free. So. Okay. So but thank you. I will have them contact you. Yeah. Okay, anything else from the library director's report? Did you want to comment on the book club? What happened there? Is that um, Susie went as, a, as an attendee, and um, afterwards I talked to Sandy Scamahorn, who it seems kind of leads it now, and she just said they don't want a library staff member there. And oh, so it was their request. It's their request. Okay. Not, they don't want to. They don't want to facilitated by a library staff okay. member. Um, the friends used to pay for snacks, but since COVID, we haven't had snacks. So it's really not connected okay. to any facet of the library. And do you think so, I'll remain here? They'll use. Our yeah, I think so. Okay. We'll still we'll still order books for them. Okay. Whenever. It's just not going to be but advertised on our calendar. Necessary right. to be there. And right. Okay. And it won't be on our calendar of events. But she might so. try to get a new one going. Yes, Susie is planning okay. to get a new one going. Um, yeah, I can talk about that a little bit in the strategic planning update. Okay. So. Oh, no, that's good. Good, good. All right, we are going to move to the review of payments of the May 2023 invoices. Thoughts, questions on that? Um, okay. Um, um, ele the Elevator Corporation one for two thirty one oh two was that just uh, inspection? Nope, those are our quarterly payments. We have a maintenance agreement with uh, them. Okay, that's so. kind of what I was. Uh, yep. And there was um, quality plumbing. What was that about? Two thirty five. Um, that was the um, one of the toilets and sewer lines got plugged down here, so that was. Oh, uh, well, that would that do out. it. That yep, would, mm -hmm. that would do it. How many total restrooms are in the building? Ooh, well, um, a lot. <laughs> One in your office, probably. No, no. <laughs> two public upstairs. They're all public. So, men's and women's upstairs. Two sets of men's and women's. One in the old half. One in the new half downstairs. Okay. So, and we will be getting new toilets in the older section downstairs that Winifax is paying for those out of the grant that we applied for. So, but they haven't been replaced yet. When so, might that occur? Um, as soon as Quality orders them and they arrive. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 Okay. Any. Other thoughts, questions about the invoices from May? Not for me. All right. Now we're going to move to receiving an update on the strategic planning process. So Andy isn't here, so I'll just give that update. Um, the survey has been going well. We did do a constant contact email pushing that out over the weekend also, and so we are up to 171 responses. So I think that's good, but there's still time. It'll close next week, Wednesday, I think. Um, and. Uh, the one for the paper ones, Ben can still input for a couple days past that. So the, about another week to for people Would to respond. Would it cost you to send a second one? Email? No. I'm wondering, because some people, they kind of miss it the first time or kind of inadvertently delete it. Yeah. And then we don't want that to second it. time they say, oh, I really did want it. We do don't want to inundate people, though, because right. we have the job post go out. We've got some, we've yeah. got our joke. But two emails wouldn't be inundate, would it? Two emails. But we're already emailing the whole list with um, okay. also the job ad went out to the whole list okay. and our newsletter is going out tomorrow to the whole list. So I, I guess think about putting a link in the newsletter if people read the newsletter. I think that's smart. So um, yeah. I mean, if you're okay with it, I'd be happy to share it on socials, mm -hmm. like just personally as just a yeah. user of the library. The link. Yeah. 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 It's been. I mean, it's been on Facebook mm -hmm. also. Yeah. The survey has so. Um, and then, um, so we also sent out um, an invitation to the community conversation to area leaders, various clubs and school district people and other um, community entities. And 
that we have gotten zero RSVPs to the community conversation that's scheduled for next week Thursday and two people looked at the email and answered questions so if you didn't want if you weren't able to attend you were invited to answer the questions there like to continue on um, so that is not going well and I think that's going to take personal contact I'm wondering but. if people don't know that they need to RSVP maybe it wasn't clear because I have it on my calendar but I didn't know I had to RSVP um, well, this is the only thing that's been sent out to people, oh, okay. to the list of people mm. that were mm. invited. So. Was it pretty obvious in the email? That there yeah, because it takes them to the form that oh, has okay. information okay. about it. Well, so, um, so we'll try to follow up with people um, and see. I don't know if this is just a bad time or people are inundated, but yeah. Another library thing. Yeah. <laughs> I like library <laughs> Um, and that, that's it for the strategic okay. okay. Any questions? All right, we're going to move to receiving an update on campaign planning. Um, so we have had one meeting since then. <clears throat> um, I've sent some letters out to people and I know other people. Peter Sensenbrenner wasn't able to be at the meeting and I haven't heard from him. I know he was working on businesses including Walworth, Walsworth and I don't know, I haven't heard if he's uh, made any progress there. Uh, Mandy Kimes and Bree are working on the banks and asking them for donations. And then we did have a business after five that the friends co-sponsored at Roadhouse. Um, so that went well. Um, at least one of the business owners is interested in participating and said yes right away. So I feel like there are a couple other people there that we can follow up with. Um, and Mandy will be working on the other businesses. So the business component that we're working on for more of the local um, cell phone businesses are a Love My Library campaign where they can donate $2,000 and we're looking to get a total of $50,000, like maybe some larger ones in there, and then they would be recognized up by the Silver Creek windows, because that's the price tag on the Silver Creek windows for the dollar aspect of it. So um, so we're asking smaller businesses to commit to $2,000, and it could be a pledged over four years if they needed to, so. Um, and we were, I found out, unfortunately, that we were denied our federal request for funds. So which one? The Tammy Baldwin. The Senator Baldwin grant that we had written for, so so not even moving forward in that process. So. Oh, I thought I read something that we got it. No, no, no. You thought we'd gotten it already? Well, we got a different grant then that I must have read. Must be it wasn't wasn't ours. <laughs> different RPO. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. They didn't. Did they give any reasoning? They did not give a reason. Okay. They did give a generic email that if you are looking for other assistance or mm -hmm. grant opportunities, so I haven't followed up on that yet because okay. we're focused yeah. on uh, getting to our first goal. Right, so, right. Yeah. All right. Anything else for campaign planning? No. No. Any questions on anything for that one? All right. We'll move to um, discuss the creation of a committee to create the staff handbook. So. The city handbook came out, and in order for it to work for the library, it needs some TLC. Not a lot, just you know enough to where we need a committee. And I'd like to appoint Doug, Breck, and Travis. Those are meetings that can be done via email and or Zoom, so it doesn't necessarily need to be in person. I know summer is hard because a lot of people are out and about. Um, are any of you absolutely a no on that involvement? No, no we're not. Can't be told have played gym though. Okay, you're going on vacation. Yes. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Brent, do you have any concerns? I've, I've worked on a handbook before. I don't know if that's a good thing, but yeah, <laughs> I can do it. Yeah, so what, sure. so what a, can I do? Can yeah, jump in here. Um, so, what it is, so, so the city had a handbook and the library board had basically adopted the prior one, and then we had our personnel policy that supersedes anything. So, it's basically now the city handbook has been redone. There are some parts that don't apply to us, um, mm -hmm. like uniform for DPW and things like uh, that. So it's overtime, basically overtime, all yeah, that stuff for DPW, and all the other stuff yeah. doesn't really apply. Yeah. So so it's basically taking the existing, the new city handbook, and our personnel policy, and merging the two documents, and maybe and you know cleaning up anything else that's not already covered that we're currently doing Deciding in practice. Do we, do we so, have an extant handbook now? One that's like a couple years old. Or, are there two handbooks? Is, or is it it's a like an addendum well, or one? Well, the city just did a new one. It's like we just ratified like a yep. month ago. Yep. Um, no, just la in fact the last meeting we did, 
and um, the libraries was just kind of using the old one, but the old one really didn't fit with the library. And there's lots of stuff in the city sandbook that's pertinent to city, actual city employees that are directly paid by the city, not like the way the library people are paid, like overtime, maternity Oops, policy. Um, yeah, uh, we're not going to pay said. library people money to go to CDL school and drive a CDL truck to right. the library. There's all there's still so the the old handbook was more broad and didn't have as many specific things, so it was easier for the library to adapt that one and then add our own addendum to it. But this new one covers a lot more territory, sure. And so, and a lot of it is no longer applicable to library staff at all. Which language so. would we probably have to tweak on that? Uh, I, I don't know. You'd have to read it over and yeah. make yeah, that. Yeah, that's kind of what the committee's yeah. job. Is you have to, to read have it over. Like it's print it out. Section. It's not Take a total it section readers. by section. No, 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 definitely it's not. It's really just going section right. by section. You can like section by section. Does this apply? Do yeah. we need to reword a little, or we can we just remove? And then, it and then we need to like maybe discuss about yeah. what we're going to add into yes. it. You know, yeah. or, yeah. Or, or, well, the committee will make that, right. and then we'll bring it to the board. Yeah. Like, I don't know, we want to have a maternity policy. Do we want to have this policy? Right. Do we want to add right. this? Do we want to? Keep that. Do we want yeah. to act like, for instance, we're not going to need to worry about the DPW right. or so, the police or anything like that. So, well, that, is, that can be cut out. Right. But there so, are other if you things. three are comfortable being on that That's committee, not a problem. we'll get a plan together, possible dates, you know, in line with, for when we might want to meet or if we want to do a review through email, we can kind of sort through that. But you're so, on it too, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah so, Maybe once a uh, Twice a month, once a uh, month. Well, with this one, I think once we're done, we're kind of done with it. It's not like an ongoing thing. So we'll, I'll get a separate email out and we'll kind of And I'll get a copy. I have a PDF copy, but I don't have a Word doc copy yet. So I'll So you will have to read it over and you'll have to like, it's a, it's a lot. So like, either you're going to have to make notes what section you think we should take out or sure. somehow mark it up. Yeah, right. Right. Well, um, we'll so that through. we can be on the same page with it's, it's what is it? Hundred pages, eighty pages? It's quite lengthy. It's a beefy one. Yeah. It covers specific instances, and it's designed to bring some certainty to different right. things. Are there I mean, a couple the, areas you would say we really should look at carefully? No, I think the main issues are taking out the things that don't apply to the library at all. Um, I think in general we want to stay as in line with city policies as we can, as they yeah. are applicable to library yes. staff, because we want our staff treated the so same. So then this document will be in its own right. It won't. It will be a separate from the yes. city. Which yeah. was the recommendation. Which is the from, recommendation. Yeah. Adopted right. and, and edited. Right. And the police department is doing the same thing. Yep. Oh, wonderful. So, yeah, All right, we're going to move on, because I know we've got a right. short amount of time. So I'm going to just say we're good on the handbook, unless good. anybody has any issues. All right. We're going to discuss the draft of the investment and fund management policy, which was attached. Okay, so this email. next meeting is staffing at 5.30, right? Yep. Okay. If we get there, right. Oh, right. <laughs> right. right. Fund management. So we had our draft and, mm -hmm. and at least three others. Mm -hmm. Is this the proposed one? It says draft. Yeah. So it's right, so this is the one from the last meeting. Oh, from the last meeting. Okay. Right, but I, I resent it. Oh, yeah, it's on yeah. this mm -hmm. time. It's a, an attention. Look for draft. That's what it's like. So oh, what, what we've been discussing here is to adopt, to adopt this. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, we would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different funds, mm -hmm. including, okay, so we would have like a library collection improvement fund um, to establish new collections and grow them to a, uh, appropriate size, um, a programming support fund to offer a variety of educational cultural programming, so like maybe bringing someone mm -hmm. musical, or yeah. someone who's gonna do dramatic readings or something, okay? Um, library facility improvement fund, so like uh, new furniture, carpet, um, a tech fund, so that things that we think that maybe a 3D printer, 
-hmm. that would fall into that right. if yeah. the library wanted to go in that direction. Uh, development and support fund, okay? Um, sp specific um, things like training and development, fundraising, those kind of things. And then I see here um, uh, library renovation expansion fund for larger scale. So like uh, 30 years down the road, maybe it's time we do something really different for the library, whatever direction that goes in. And we have some money set aside for that, a paltry amount that will never come close to covering what might happen in the future, right? Um, and then a, a memorial fund um, for grants, memorials, and other small items. Mm -hmm. So if that passes through then, where would that go? These would be set up at the Community Foundation, and I'd already talked to Carlene, and they can do this so that we would have these funds split out. So, okay. Yeah, we would disperse from our one, our single pot. We would decide, right? We would right. decide how much. So if someone yeah, just says, um, Grandma died and she loved the library, here's 500 bucks that was in her will, her trust, her bequest, that would go through this and the finance, then? It would go through the Finance Committee to recommend where to put it, or to yep. the board to where to put okay. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yep. I have no issue with this. Yeah, I didn't see anything in any of the others that um, improved it, I guess. They seem, some of them were kind of wordy, too. And they okay, so we adopt this, but there's nothing, say, a year from now, we see something that is a problem, or could be a problem, or we think could be do, do better, we can bring it back. Mm -hmm. Right. Absolutely, this is Well, it says it needs to be looked at every year, I think. Is right, we should yeah. probably review this stuff every year. It's in the handbook that mm -hmm. we're going to change, we should review it on a regular basis, whether it's every year or every two years or whatever, just so that we're, that's what we do, right? right? right. Annually reviews this policy and recommends changes to the board. So I also don't want to open up a can of worms because I know we're pressed on time, but I also think it's important for us to decide, and maybe it's not today, but when we actually are making all these disbursements, when we're actually distributing funds into these accounts, whether it's, I don't know, three months from now, once we see how much you know, fundraising, how fundraising goes, or it's effective right now, Desiree get it on, on it tomorrow. Like, I th and maybe that's not necessarily something we need to talk about today, but I think we should be thinking about when, when we want to actually get make these distributions. The yeah. Yeah. yeah, and I think that's for the finance committee. Yes, to yeah. talk about, yes. So. Okay, so we need a motion to accept this. Mm -hmm. I'll make a motion to accept the <coughs> Urban Public Library Investment and Fund Management Policy Gifts Bequests or Permanent Endowments. I second. I have further discussion. So I think this is a bad idea because it restricts our opportunity to do something large. So if all the money gets divided seven ways, that's one seventh of what we could have done. So sometimes something big happens and we're going to need to, to make a significant investment. So I think this is an unwise policy to divide it up into multiple pots. We can move them. I don't, I don't disagree one. with you, Andy. I know we're like between a rock and a hard place with the city's attitude about our very large pot of it's money. It's the city's attitude. They don't have control. Correct. We right. are the statute board, dictates. Right. And we, we have control over the funds. So the concern they can think, wish to have more power, but yes, they don't. Right. I think the concern is if we, and maybe we don't distribute, maybe we, I don't know, but I think if we don't break it up, we need to do a better job of explaining to the Common Council why we're sitting on one large pot of money and what it's planned for so that they don't see us sitting on four hundred, five hundred thousand dollars $500,000 and therefore hold us flat or, or hold us back in terms of what our budget is because that's what happened this last year. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's that's something we need to yes. do a better job of. Yes. I agree. Yeah. Okay. So, so the periodic the investment committee or finance committee, I guess, right? Uh, really have about it says that they periodically review and recommend changes to the allocation of assets among endowment funds under library board. So and it we can have to, them. And it doesn't have to be split up into seven equal pots. The finance committee right. would say where everything is going. I so would assume several will be very small, probably. Right. Right. Okay. At least until we get through the renovation, maybe. Who, yeah. knows? Like, who knows? OK, so I'm just going to say this. I saw the other. The Lake Geneva Public Gift Acceptance Policy. Um, there was a Nina Public Library um, in here, and I think there was another one. They all do this. 
and I think almost every major library and a lot of modest sized ones do this too. And guess what? They're still standing, they still fund it, and you know what? I think it's a better. Yes, okay, we could have a big problem. So what do we do? We're gonna to have to be in public and make this decision about what to do with the money if we have an emergency. I really don't think, you know, like, if a tornado clipped the edge of the building, we have insurance for that, okay? So I'm not sure what kind of disaster that would happen that we would suddenly need all the money in the pot. There might be. I'm well, willing to take that chance. And if, if that's the case, is that as simple, and maybe correct me if I'm wrong, as us meeting and deciding to reallocate everything into whatever pot needs it. And then have the board approve that. And, and the and board approves it, and then, it. and then maybe we start from zero when we're done with using that particular pot. I don't know, I'm conflicted because I absolutely appreciate, understand, and value, and feel almost the same way as Andy, but then having sat in the meeting with Adam and asking him pointedly, if we allocate these funds, is the Common Council gonna look more favorably, favorably on not holding us flat for the next budget, and he said yes. And it was what was recommended from Correct. the from CLA, from the accountant, and I have not been able to get anybody to say otherwise. And I know that we that the, that the Common Council and Adam does not do anything with our budget, and it's really up to us according to the state statute, and we can just basically tell the city to never mind. But I know we're well, it's no, they a dole goal it out. of ours. They, they dole it out, so yeah, they do right. have. And so it's saying. a goal of ours to, to strengthen that relationship. So it really is kind of a okay. tough, the, it's not an easy thing, thing. I would say is, and I don't, maybe you could point it out. I don't, get four minutes. I don't really see where it says that the board can reallocate the money. Okay, so if we need clearer language, now's the time when we add it. And I just, finance I read it. it. Huh. Did that not make sense to you? Where, where is that? under investment committee. That's the second to the last dot. Oh, that's what I'm Periodically reviews and recommends changes to the allocation of assets among endowment funds okay. under library board control. Okay, that's fine. So periodically is vague enough that we could review it every week if we wanted to. Right. Now, here's what I would suggest, not tonight, but we establish some criteria as when and under what circumstances perhaps we're going to make that change. And right. that's the next kind of, so So this is based on Oshkosh Public Library's policies, and they have two, so they have this one and they have an expenditure one. And so yeah. that'll be the next policy that the finance that's committee will work on and come to the board, but this one needed to come first. Okay, so. well, I'm, ready. I'm done then, so I'm ready. Andy, do you have any other thoughts? I know, it's <laughs> not, I know that you're kind of just like, you know what, the city can just, can think however they want to think. We control our money, and that's the end of it. And I don't disagree with you, it's but the law says. <laughs> I don't know. Do we feel like we need to roll this discussion over to the next meeting? Because I know that we are not going to be able to get into closed session to continue. So I don't know if we want to have a special meeting before the next item. I think you have to vote, though. We have a motion and a second. Yeah. To so we'd have to. To move to it to, oh, we have to, to the next. Turn, vote it down before you could move it. Well, let's go ahead and take a vote on it. Or the person that made the motion can rescind their own. Okay. No, I'm, no, I'm not going to rescind it. You need to do it. Okay. I don't know how to vote. I'm, I'm conflicted. That's my problem. I don't know if this warrants more discussion before I, we vote. I have no problem say, if someone say, hey, I want to give $500 to the tough one. You guys, whatever techie things you want to do with it, if you got a list or something, just put it in that pot. Okay? People will do that. They'll say, oh, this one's 40. If, if um, grandma loved the library, it's $500, do what you want with it, and it goes in a special fund, and you guys decide what you're going to do with it, oh, we'll need it for the 3D printer. I knew grandma would love 3D printing. I mean, maybe this, she was an artist or something. This I is think, kind of ensuring us to be better stewards of the donations we receive. I rather think that's than, the than, point. Than, right, right. So like in that realm, yes, I'm all for it. But also the city doesn't really have much control over our money once it's given to us. But also I would like to see the city be better stewards of our building, our parking lot, our, our grounds. Our, yeah, so we're, we're paying for 
for grass to get mowed. Why is that? I don't know. Parks get mowed. Because by... we, the city gives you guys the money, gives us the money to take care of the building and the grounds and pay the salaries and everything. That's why you're paying for the lawn mowing. Okay, Andy? The city gives you guys money, gives us money to keep it the lights on. The county does. We get grants and funds. And yeah, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to vote for this because I think it's a good policy. I think people want to see this. I think everyone, every other library, most of them have this policy. So when you get money, you know what it's for. Do you think, Andy, this could be reworked with maybe a different language to where you would? Uh, I can see it working with the point that Janet made about the uh, periodically reviewing, periodically okay. reviewing. which is in here. But I, I, I disagree in principle. Which okay. Is, yeah. 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 We hear you. Yeah. Okay. I'm with you. Should we still vote though? Yep. We had to vote. Okay. Yeah, vote no. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Reluctantly. Yeah, reluctantly, and aye from me as well. All those opposed? Nay. Any abstain? All right. Thanks for bringing forward that. Yes, Andy. That's why I want That's you to know you're heard. That's and democracy. It's not respected. Okay, well, we're not going to be able to do the next item, so um, my question is. Do we do it now? We can't reconvene no. now. No. After. So the question becomes we currently have penciled in the formal review for Desiree on June 13th. Is there a time when the board wants to meet before June 13th to review the draft, the paper draft review in closed session? session? Yeah, in closed session. I will not be available unless okay. you do it in the next couple of days. Well, what does the next couple of days look like for everybody? And you want and you want to be there, right? I I'll, I'll, I'll be there if you, can, you guys can do it the next couple of days. Otherwise. I'm not taking when are, you, when are you out of town? Six to the twenty. Okay. On the same time of the day? I mean, I'm, this time works for most of us, yeah? Uh, then Thursday no. is my only option. Okay. So Thursday, 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 Thursday is not. Okay. Do you feel comfortable no, if we met without you? Because you have been on the personnel you, committee. You, you know it all. Yeah. I mean, okay, so, so okay. Thursday the 1st at 5. How does that look? Well, I can I make you can't. No, but I'm fine with that. A quorum, though. What time? Four, five. Four would be a quorum. Three, four, five. It'd be at 5 p.m. on Thursday. Okay. And the first. Three. Yep. Five so five that would be Breck, Doug, myself, Andy, yep. Janet. I'll be there. Okay. So that's enough. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Cool. And we have seven, so. Good. Okay. I'm just putting Good this enough. in my calendar. All right, so then we will, we didn't go to open session or closed session, so we don't need to reconvene. So then we'll just set the date for the next board meeting, right? Yeah, okay. make sure we got to post that, so. Cool. Yeah, I will get it sent out. Oh, great. Yep. That's what I think is June 27th, 5 p.m., any, the I'll get the agenda sent out for the Thursday meeting. Okay, and so any yeah. agenda items for the next board meeting get to Desiree by June 27th. First. Yep. Yes, June 27th will be 5 p.m. for next board meeting. Okay. And we will adjourn.